Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> My name is Nana. I am from Ghana. Yes, Nana from Ghana. I like that. That is powerful. <laughs> um, Ghana is a country in um, Africa. Yes, very close to Nigeria. So literally, if you are driving to Nigeria and you make a right, you'll be in Ghana. <laughs> um, prior to relocating to the USA three months ago, I thought everybody here was rich. Yes, I thought everybody was rich. You know, um, simply because in my village in Africa, we didn't have electricity, right? Now, the king of the village has a generator. So once a month, we all go to his palace and we watch television, right? And every time we get a luxury to watch any Western, you know, movie or any Western documentary, the, the way it is portrayed, it's portrayed as if everybody here is rich. For example, they say, Justin Bieber crashed his Ferrari. He gets another one. <laughs> Paris Hilton crashed her Lamborghini. She gets another one. <laughs> so just last week, I was watching one of these African cable network over here, right? And I saw something which really struck me, right? I saw an ad advert which says a dollar a day can save a child in Africa. Now, the children which were being used for the advertisement were like very malnourished, depressed looking children with like flies in their face and they look very sick and fragile, right? And I'm like, whoa, whoa. I mean, I'm not saying there's a, there, there isn't certain part in Africa where kids may be starving, right? But it's not that bad. You know, I don't think all over Africa is a big continent. I don't think the starvation is that bad over there. So, you know, so I'm like, whoa, this media, man. People may think everybody is, you know, dying over there. The same way we thought everybody is rich over here. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. Justin Bieber, um, Paris Hilton, they are entertainers. They are, they are entertainers. They are like mega talented people. They, 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 you know, they work so hard for their money. So they deserve to afford or they can afford those cars, right? But the bottom line is not everybody here can buy a Ferrari or, La or Lamborghini. <laughs> so to qualify this conversation, just this morning, I got the opportunity to use the internet for the first time, um, simply because I don't have a, a computer. And I got a library card this morning, so I went to the library and I was very eager to see my email because I've not seen it for three months, right? So when I opened my email, there is one young man who has the same last name I have, who has written me six times, six times, right? And, and, and the subject line of all his email says, urgent, 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 very urgent, very urgent, right? So I just click on the very first one. And this is what he has to say. He says, dear brother Nana, that is me. <laughs> Ever since I heard you have made it to the USA, I have been praying for you. The whole family have been praying for you. The whole village have been praying for you. But I don't understand why you are so greedy. All I've been asking you is to buy me just one Toyota Corolla. <laughs> and you don't want to do it. Why are you so greedy? <laughs> yes, yes. So you see, he's in Africa. He knows the car he wants. He knows the brand he wants. And all he's asking for is just one. Right, so he taught me being here for three months. <laughs> I have the money to use my own money to buy him just one Toyota Corolla and also ship it all the way from here to Africa. And I've not done it, and I've been here for three months. So, to him, I'm a very greedy person and a very bad person. <laughs> all he wants is just one Toyota Corolla. <laughs> That's been a wonderful night. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye.